Hey guys, it is Woody. Once again. Um, I just left a shipper and I learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> so, I get loaded up and I get the green light and uh, I go inside to get my paperwork. And while I'm in there, the, the guys that were loading it, loading the trailer, uh, he, one of the guys was like, you're good to go. I said, all right, I just need to get my, my uh, shipping papers. He said, they're in the trailer, they're in the back of the trailer. I was like, oh, okay, that's different, you know? So I, uh, I go back out to my truck and pull forward. There's the shipping papers. I close my trailer up and everything, put a seal on it. And uh, they have a scale at that facility, which is nice. So I, I went through the scale and all that stuff, did my live loaded call or you know my loaded call, did all that stuff, okay? All while sitting in the parking lot right in front of the shipping office. And then I, uh, I drive away. I get to right about where I'm at now. And I get a phone call from the shipper. And the lady was asking me, are you, are you still at the scale? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm on the road. You know, she's like, oh, you can't be on the road. You have to, you still have to get your shipping papers. And I was like, the guys told me I, I was good to go and I have the shipping papers and she's like no you have a, a, a picking paper the pick list basically and but I mean it had everything that a normal bill of lading has on it it had my weight it had how many pieces were on it it had the temperature it had everything you know and I, so of course when I did my live loaded call it, I mean all the information was there so I'm like, okay, well, I got to turn around. I had to go through some back streets. I actually had to turn down this street and go back around. So, but I got back there and, you know, on the phone, the lady was freaking out. <laughs> but when, once I got there, she was nice about it. You know, she explained it to me. And I was like, yeah, I, mean, I, I was here. I was sitting at this desk right here. And the guys told me I was good to go. And that usually means I'm good to go. And I told them I was trying to get my shipping papers and they told me they're in the back of the trailer. So, anyway, uh, the lesson was always check with shipping first. I know that's, you know, probably a pretty basic uh, knowledge, but I was there at the shipping desk. And uh, I mean, the lady was sitting there too. So, I know she heard me say, well, I gotta get my shipping papers, and they said they're in the back of the trailer. So, I don't know. I was given bad information, and uh, I was not good to go. But, uh, anyway. So I got another, I got a load, finally. I was at my terminal for about two days I was there all day yesterday and then half a day the day before and then I'm just now picking up my load it was uh, about 1.30 when I got there and uh, it's 5 o'clock now local time so and now I'm heading out but I'm going right back <laughs> to where I was a few days ago Luckily, it's not the same shipper because getting in there sucked. When I saw the city, I was like, oh crap. But I looked it up on my uh, on my maps. I got the satellite image and it's quite a bigger facility. So that's good. And uh, yeah, so now I'm on the road and hopefully I can make it to my fuel stop. I should have enough fuel to get there. But, um, yeah, away she goes, boys. So, <laughs> oh man, uh, what else? It looks like it's gonna rain out here. It started to, and then it didn't, and then it started to again, and then it didn't. So, we'll see what happens with that. I'll be 
uh, also yesterday been uh, pretty pissed off about what's going on with uh, all these protests and anti-protests and all of it. And I know I said I don't get, uh, I don't like getting political on my YouTube channel, but um, it's getting pretty ridiculous, you know, um, on, on both sides. So, I don't know, I've been kind of going off about that on Facebook, on my Facebook page. Um, and, you know, neither side was right. Neither side handled it the way that they should have. And uh, I know tempers flared and, and things like that on both sides. And uh, it just turned into a big mess. But my message is that, uh, you know, we need to cut it out. We need to stop, knock it off, you know, I don't care what religion you are, what color you are, what political party you are, I don't care about any of that, you know. And uh, I got a lot of friends that disagree with me, and that's fine. I don't, <laughs> that's the beauty of America. We don't have to agree. We don't have to believe the same thing. Um, but find a middle ground somewhere. You know, and during all those protests, okay, my main thing is, what is the protest about? And nothing in the media covers any of that. It doesn't cover why they were there in the first place. That's what I want to know. What are they What are they pissed off about? You know? Now, the other group, it seems like they were just pissed off because the first group was there, was there in the first place. You know? But, I don't know. I wasn't there. But the reason that the original group was there in the first place is because... The, uh, the city is trying to take down another monument and talking about the middle ground one of the people I was talking to uh, says that she doesn't think it should be destroyed but it should be moved to like the, the Smithsonian and preserved you know something like that okay you know I could I could go for that but I mean you, you start taking down pieces of American history you know they want to get rid of Stone Mountain you know I I grew up in that area I've been to Stone Mountain a few times you know um, and I don't know they they say it's racist honestly to be a to be honest, I don't know the full story behind it, but I know that it is a national monument, and I've been there, like I said, a few times, and uh, back then nobody had a problem with it, you know, and uh, black, white, Mexicans, you know, I, people go there. And they enjoy it. They take pictures. They look at it. It's, you know, it's a marvel. And now they want to destroy it. They want to get rid of it. They want it sandblasted or, or blown off of there. And, um, you know, I don't think that's right. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, this is the world we live in. We got to... We got to live in it. And that's not even the worst part. That's not even the big deal. The main thing is, while all of this is going on, we're on the brink of another war. North Korea is, you know, they're, they're puffing their chest and 
we're puffing our chest and you know threats are being thrown around and phone calls were being made yesterday negotiations were being made yesterday as to what our next step is with this situation but nobody freaking cares nobody knows about it and that's a serious freaking issue guys you know we can deal with all the other crap later but right now we need to be united plain and simple and um, people don't realize that and <laughs> you know North Korea you know they see what we're doing they see what we're going through we are weak right now whether you think it or not with all this back and forth that's going on between us, we are weak right now. And that's how they win. And I mean, I could, I could go into all kinds of crap that happens when, when the people get divided. Not just other countries see it, our government sees it, our government steps in and we lose all control. We, we lose all power, we lose freedoms. And um, that's dangerous. So we need to be united because if we don't, everything, the, the right wing, the left wing, black lives matter, blue lives matter, if we don't unite, none of it's going to matter. You know, that's just the way it is. But you guys want to keep... I don't want to say you guys, because not everybody is involved, but they all want to keep, uh, you know, doing what they're doing. And uh, it's not right. It's not right at all. And, uh, you know, but at the same time, people on the left keep saying, oh, well, it's a, it's a race thing, it's a racist thing, and we want to squash the hate you know no hate all love and but yet it keeps going back to race things that don't even involve race people bring it up and i mean if who was it uh uh wow it was in my head and now it's not um get phone calls from the guy all the time uh, hi this is and for insurance anything anyway Morgan Freeman he said if you want to get rid of racism stop talking about it he said I'm not a black man I'm a man you're not a white man you're a man we're men and women we're American citizens. And that's how I feel about it. You know, you wanna you wanna squash the hate. Starts with you. So anyway, that was my political rant. Um, like I said, I don't I don't typically get political with uh, on this channel, but um, I think a message needs to be, you know, sent that uh, if you want change to happen, you got to start it. You got to change. You know, you, there has to be a compromise. And um, you know, uh, the other thing is, President Trump sent a, said a tweet, and it, I think he also said it you know, during a press conference or whatever. But there was a tweet that says um, he denounces the violence and in uh, Charlottesville that it was wrong on both sides, and we need to stand united as a people. And people get pissed off because he didn't specify the white nationalists' violence, but. It was violent on both sides. 
both sides instigated violence. It was wrong. So, what did he say that was wrong? And people are all up in arms about that too. And I'm like, I don't understand that. I don't understand it, okay? I mean, I understand that you, you don't like President Trump, whatever, you know. Um, it is what it is. It's, uh, a lot of people didn't vote for him, you know? I didn't vote for him, but uh, it's what we got. I also didn't vote for Obama. <laughs> it's what we got. We dealt with it, you know? So, I mean, you, you, you get the cards you're dealt, you play them the best you can, and uh, you deal with it. But, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with what Continue he said. Continue on Sunny Slope Road. Because we need to unite, like I've said. We need to stop being violent against each other. Anyway, I know I've rambled on long enough. So, reach for the sky, thank a trucker.